What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys, and no snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? So guys, welcome back, and happy Magic Monday. So out of all the mods you voted on from last week's episode, this is the one that won. But don't forget, down there in the comment section, listen there you little bear, don't forget, down there in the comment section, vote one, two, or three, or check out the poll in the top right hand corner to see which mods we're voting on for next week's episode. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Mage Fist. Mage Fist is the mod that you guys wanted to see out of the ones that we voted on from last week. And this one caught my attention because it immediately made me think of the the mage, you know, the, the flesh mods that you or not the flesh mods, the flesh spells that you have, like oak flesh. Stone Flesh, Iron Flesh, you know, Ebony Flesh, all sorts of that stuff. These ones right here. Let's actually go over to where Alteration is at. Ebony Flesh, which is one of the best, if not the best, um, flesh spells that you can get, which improves the caster's armor rating by 100 points for 90 seconds. And if you're, you know, if you're pretty good with Alteration, you can dual wield that and make it even better. So right now, our armor rating is that of 100 points, which is very cool. So basically, we could run around naked and always have 100 points of armor. But what exactly does this mod do? Well, it takes those regular mods and adds them as uh, unarmed, unarmed damage mods, or unarmed damage spells. Now, I will preface this by saying we are currently level 100 in alteration and have the entire perk tree maxed out. That's how I'm going to be able to do most of the things that I'm able to do. But do keep in mind that all of these spells can be found throughout the world of Skyrim as well as in the inventories of certain merchants. So the certain merchants that you're going to want to want to look out for are indeed Tolfdir in the College of Winterhold, Wylandria, uh, in the, uh, what is it, in Riften, as well as various, you know, shopkeeps and stuff like that. It's probably going to be in their inventory. Most of the spell vendors are going to have these spells within their inventory, but a lot of the bigger ones, you got to have, you got to have the experience with alteration in order to get them. But what exactly does this mod do, in fact? Well, I'm wearing a ring of infinite magicka. That way I can more effectively show you what this stuff does. But we have a couple of them right here. But before we go and we do something to this bear with the spell on, I want to see how much damage we do to this bear without the spell even equipped. So you can see, as a measly little level 1, I am doing little to no damage to this bear. It's kind of laughable how much damage I'm doing to it, so with that being said, we can now reload the save, and I'll show you just how much damage these spells can really do when you apply them, <laughs> when you really apply them. So we're going to go and dual wield Ebony Fist, we're going to go ahead and do that, and now we have our active effects. We have uh, Mage Fist Ebony improves unarmed damage by 39 points for 198 seconds. Now what's cool is once you cast these spells, it automatically unequips it so that you can go in for the punch. Now let's just see how much damage we're doing to this snow bear. Yeah, that is how much damage we're doing to these things. So you can definitely see how the ebony one could be a tad bit overpowered. And we have this for close to 200 seconds, which, to be honest, 200 seconds is really all you would need to go through an entire army of people just punching your way through the ranks. Now, this mod can be seen as a little bit overpowered, but it all depends on how you look at it. You can obviously, you, you know, you can obviously have a little bit you know, less ones with Oak Flesh, or Oak Fist rather, Iron Fist, anything like that, but each of them amplify your melee damage by a certain amount. So Stone, or Ebony Flesh, or Ebony Fist, is actually only by 18 points, but if you double it, you get even more. Now, I don't believe they stack, which is kind of interesting, but it's a good thing because for people who don't like too much OP within their mods, I think this would be a good balance. Now, like I said, Ebony Fist is a little bit, a little bit powerful, and in fact, there's one more above it, but I could not find it within the inventory of Wylandria nor Tolfdir, so it could be a hit or miss. It's actually called Dragon Fist. Now, the Dragon Fist is most likely going to do the same exact damage as the Dragon Bone uh, weapons that you can even forge. Now, in the mod description, it does indeed specify that even if you go up against a swordsman, a master swordsman, a journeyman swordsman, hell, even probably an apprentice swordsman, you're still going to want to have a, a weapon with you, but your your fists can punch through really any mob that you come up to, as long as they're not, one, higher level than you, and two, are not packing Daedric Swords or Ebony Swords 
swords or complete dragon bone armor and weapons. Now this mod, it's definitely one of those that can add a little bit more immersion to those of you wanting to be more of a, a martial artist, maybe something like that. Someone who doesn't necessarily want to roleplay as a weaponsmith, nor, you know, like a warrior with weapons, but more so someone who just wants to use their fist to punch a whole bunch of people's faces in. And in fact, let's go ahead and try this out on a few NPCs, shall we? And we'll see just how powerful it is. Now, keep in mind that we are indeed only level one. We'll get through this dialogue with a damn courier. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and do a quick save right there. And let's see. There we go. Oh, wait. We actually don't even need that. But I misspoke. We're actually not level one. We're level 25. So keep that in mind. I, I misspoke there. I apologize about that. But let's try it on some of these guards, shall we? Actually, this chicken, one shot, it's gone. Uh, I'd rather die than go to prison, Winterhold Guard. So as you can see, <laughs> we... <laughs> instantly do some finishers on some of these guards and uh, I think that's a little bit crazy especially with your fists we can two shot these guards and drop them on their heads <laughs> just like that now I wish I was in white run to go ahead and kill all these people in there but you know how it is this spell can certainly add the ability for no one, you know, if you don't want to use your hands, or, you, or rather if you don't want to use weapons, bows, anything like that, it seems your hands can be just as deadly. And it's perfect for those of you wanting to roleplay as Chuck Norris, because now you can just one-shot anything that you that you come across. Probably mammoth, giants, all sorts of that stuff. So it's a little bit OP, I will give you that, but it's kind of nice to have these spells in the world of Skyrim to go along with your ebony flesh, you know, your oak flesh, your stone flesh, because why not? Why not have an unarmed person running around being able to dish out tons and tons of damage while also being protected from the damage that they're being, you know, having inflicted on them? But guys, I do believe that's everything that this little modest mod has to offer, and I very much hope you guys enjoyed. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.